Welcome guys to the latest episode of Thylobites and in this particular episode we're going to be talking about the thylacine's gape or the size or the width that the thylacine can open its mouth. It's something that there's a lot of different views and of different opinions so we're going to try and settle it right here right now. So let's have a look at a couple of great photos of uh, the thylacine here. This is one of the most famous frontal pictures of the thylacine showing it's quite large uh, Gape. In fact, this is the cover photo of Stephen Smith's uh, report. Um, it's a flea photo taken uh, in 1930s. A side-on view. Another side-on view of the thylacine opening its mouth quite wide. And what I've done here is I've drawn in uh, an angle for you. And you see here that there's lots of various information saying the thylacine can open its uh, mouth up to 165 degrees I've read, 120 degrees I've read, but this is pretty much as wide as the thylacine can open its mouth up and you can see it's actually less than 90 degrees, it's probably about 80 degrees, any more than that and the structural integrity of the jaw and the skull would be compromised. It can open its mouth that wide so it can actually strike to the rear of its prey's head and neck area rendering it uh, uh, um, immobile quite quickly so but it definitely can't move it further than the 80 degrees so this is the, the key thing to remember and uh, some of you may have seen uh, this particular episode of Animal X it has an incredible flip top mouth that can open to almost 180 degrees so almost 180 degrees you know, essentially what a load of rubbish even in the actual picture there which we have a still for it's clearly less than 90 degrees again the 80 degrees two two reasons not to believe this particular uh, documentary a because it's talking about 165 degrees and showing something that's 80 80 degrees and it also has uh, an attractive zoologist uh, on it and we all know that there is no such thing as an attractive zoologist that's all we've got for this episode of Thylobites. See you soon.